sick man fraud here. And did you know that they're trying to do the, um, DNA and genome and the brain mapping? Yes, they are. They're trying to actually map the brain. And we know what happens to guys who use a map. They get lost. So apparently, we're mapping the brain. Um, and we're going to unravel the map and cover the brain with a map. That's how you map a brain, as opposed to mopping the brain. You want to use a map and not a mop. But if you give a guy a map, he usually gets lost. So I think you're going to be a little lost trying to map the brain. You can't map it. You know, there's no directions. Um, you can find a U-turn maybe somewhere in the map. You're allowed to do a U-turn uh, in your brain. You can reverse a thought and not have a, like a one-way thought process um, or multi-lanes of thoughts. You could have a U-turn of thought. You could do that. But you won't find lots of lanes and U-turns on a map. You find mostly what? Lots of lines on a map. A lot of streets, a lot of lines, a lot of posts, mostly lines and streets. And there's lots of lines in the brain. Um, so when you're mapping the brain, you have to look for lines in the brain and align those lines with a map. And once you've found those lines and you're aligned with the lines in the map, then you've got your direction correctly and you know where you're going, don't you? So those people who are mapping the brain, they know where they're going because why? They have a map. They have a map to the brain directly. Um, and it's filled with lots of lines and streets. And um, let's see what else I, as a map. Well, maps usually have a direction, a north, east, south, and west. So I would advise you to go due west when you're mapping the brain. Um, because why? Because the west is closer to the Pacific coast with the ocean. The brain's full of water, mostly. So you use a map to find the ocean in your brain, and um, that's a good use of mapping the brain. Um, you could um, glad wrap the map um, and use that as well. So um, mapping the brain is a rather um, lengthy process. Um, usually it takes two or three people to use a map, open it up, and discover where they're at. And in the realm of the brain, we don't know where we're at yet because we're still what? we're still mapping it. So we're in the process of mapping something that's unknown. Um, so we would call that uh, an atlas map. What kind of map would we call that? Rand McNally? Atlas? Global? Um, or just um, a mind map? There you go. <clears throat> I think we'll call it mind maps. <clears throat> Once we'll map out the brain, uh, we'll know where each part of the brain is located, on what street we can find it, and uh, the shortest direction to any one point using that brain map. Usually the shortest point is between point A and point B, from the top to the bottom, front to the back. So the frontal lobe and the back lobe. It's a short distance, not too far. If you went from the left to the right, um, again, that would be like probably C to D. That's uh, equilateral as opposed to unilateral. Uh, so there is your northwest, south, and east, and west, and all that, your compass points. Equilateral left to right, west to east, up and down, north and south. You can travel north, you can go south, you can go east and go west using your brain map. Because you're what? You're mapping the brain using a map. See how clever that is? So it's geographical, the brain and the map. You're using geographical maps to locate parts of the brain geographically to get directions. And like I said, we all know what happens to guys when you give a map and they're looking for directions. They'd rather just drive along without directions and be directionless. So who needs a map when you're mapping the brain? You don't need a map. If you're a guy, forget the map. You've got your own brain. Um, you can travel wherever you want. You don't need a map. So for those people out there who think you're going to map the brain, um, I think you're mistaken. I don't think you're going to have a map. Because the smart people don't use a map. They know where they're going without a map. Okay, just want to make that point perfectly clear. So uh, next time you do a brain study, maybe you want to Google brain instead of map the brain. You can Google it. Find that on Google.